Good day everyone. Uh, U-Boat is finally out early access on Steam. Uh, as you can see down here, uh, we're a few days in. Uh, I did play the tutorial. Uh, patch came out today, but uh, we're going to run through. Uh, I really like what I see so far. Um, to be honest, it has crashed a couple times, but when we're in early access, um, we, you know, you can expect things like that. I'm very impressed uh, where, where it is at this time already. So we'll, we'll take a look at it here in sandbox mode. And I've already set everything up. Uh, we're in a port, the Rochelle. So basically the first thing I like to do is we, we need to get some extra supplies for our sub. So we'll go into the warehouse. Take a look. Now there's certain bonuses you get if you can bury uh, the sailor's food. Uh, also to buy different scraps. I just want to make sure we do have a good selection of food. I'm going to see if I can get more cheese on the All right. Ammunition, fuel, pop it up. Torpedoes. Now this is the important part. We want to make sure. All right. Now, unlike a lot of other sub simulation games, this is more about crew management. This is why I really like the game. So the first thing we're going to do is go over here and we'll get a, a mission. Solid work, Captain. All right, are there any orders? Your eyes only. So we get three different, and what I also like about this is they're not the same, it's not path driven, they are random events happen also. Um, I don't want to transport a spy, it'll be a medium one, sector DB. Okay, so let's, let's try this one. And we also have a, a transmission. These are our officers. Basically, we have the captain, I think it's a skipper, our communications guy, and we have two engineers, and they're denoted by these symbols. And these leaders have the uh, cross. And we're going to click on Newman. He's our radio man. We're going to get him to decode this transmission. Now, if we scroll in, this is the really neat part. After it lo loads in, it will be much smoother. So yeah, we can use the mouse wheel and we can actually manage the crew. You can see Newman, we sent him into the radio room. So right now he's decoding that transmission. Another thing we want to do is vary their diet. This will give us a bonus to discipline. So we can click on the storage. I've uh, left click to select the captain. Go to storage. And we're going to move some of this food and we can move it directly over to the galley instead of putting it in his backpack. We'll just open the galley and we'll move all this food. Yes. Let's see if we can get some more here. Uh, he's loading torpedoes. We'll let him do that. We'll take this guy. Do the same thing. Uh, we'll load vegetables over. Okay, so the captain's moving. Now if you also click on these icons, it'll take you to where that character is. He's gone back. Right, new message. So it's been decoded by Newman. So we click over here. Have a fruitful patrol. There's our, our mission, BD. Okay, so we'll leave out of here. Let's zoom out. I'm going to push M to open up the map. Now, B, D, over here. So this is where we need to head. Now, we need to actually navigate out past some islands and stuff. Get in here. All right. So that's our sub. This is the direction it's moving. You can see a sight line. Anything within that we can see if we're looking through binoculars or attack uh, periscopes. Uh, also, Newman can do hydrophone and uh, sonar stuff, which will also have our ring come out and we can see the distance. But what we're going to do is set some waypoints. And we're going to right click 
to put the waypoint in. Now if we hold shift down, we can set multiple waypoints. So I'm just going to make sure we can get them out into the channel. We're holding shift and then right click. There, that'll take us on a course. We won't have to worry about that. And like I said, this is more about managing rest and uh, what the, the crew is actually doing. So we've got that set up. Now up here, these icons, we have our engine speed, dive, rudder control, and the map button I use it. So what we want to do is start the setup moving forward. So we're going up, we're on diesels right now. We'll left click, subs away. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm just going to make sure they're transferring that food because that is going to be really important. Okay, Cam. Oh, I know what it is. It's full. That's why we've got a, a variety of food. Now, if we go up here, you can see discipline's 100%. We're getting a plus 20 per minute for our buried dishes. Also, you can have stuff like toilets improve, which also helps. So yeah, really neat game. I went did go through the tutorial. I played a couple rounds to get the hang of it, and I definitely like this more than any other sub sim I have played. Uh, being it is an early access, there is a couple little glitchy parts, but definitely a great game for uh, uh, what it is on Steam. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just accelerate time. These also time compression and fast travel respond differently depending on whether you're near shore or an open ocean so be careful when you go to click them because um, if you're in an open ocean and you click it it goes much faster so this one's now come up and what's going on here is uh, Loris is loading up all the torpedo tubes as we're heading out to the sea I'll we'll just let everybody keep doing it. You see at the bottom here, these uh, bars blue with a little bit of gray. That's their rest state. And if it gets too low, they can't perform their duty as well. So you want to try to keep them rested. Again, this is why the crew management thing comes into play, which I really like. So we'll head uh, out past the island. Travel mode, so it changes how fast we'll move. We'll let it load in. Much faster. Now, once you get out into open ocean, it's important to have. And Kohler here has already jumped in doing a navigation. You'll get lost at sea if you don't have somebody navigating for a long period of time. I try to always keep somebody on the nav station between the captains. It has to be a leader. So again, back to crew management. So for right now, I'm actually going to take the captain, the skipper, and put it. He has his own bunk. The other officers can sleep other places. Put him to sleep immediately. While Kohler is doing the navigating. So I'm just going to scroll out. And I'll fast forward until uh, I get an encounter. Seven hours now. I put uh, one of the engineers uh, to rest. Try to keep one of them uh, always a little uh, rested. The comms guy, I put Newman to sleep and uh, grab. I'm going to switch out here soon to make sure my leaders are both fairly rested. But another thing I wanted to show you, we'll come in and look at the graphics on this. It's just spectacular, and, and mine aren't set that high either. Okay, so for each officer, we can set the amount, uh, a number of crew that will assist in their duties. And if you just leave, uh, mouse over, you see it, it'll actually add um, bonuses to what they do. So we'll give both engineers a couple extra crew. Uh, Newman really only needs one to help him operate, but if there's another one, it will, um, they will go um, move uh, storage around and, and clean and stuff. 
and for our, we'll put two in the captain. We'll put two down. And so I just wanted to show you to make sure, um, yeah, assign them them crew. And if you work them too much, the discipline will also come down. Now you can see here, Wes is about half uh, through exhaustion. And that's another thing. We put him to work on diesel engines back here. So he's right there on the diesel engines. That allows us to uh, access these two higher gears. So that's what he's been doing the whole seven hours we've been out. So we're going to put him off shift. Now we can either just click on him and click the bed. Or we can click on one of these uh, officer's bunks. There's one here, but someone's already resting. So we'll just left click. Now you notice we just... Uh, slowed down. So now we're going to pick up Loris, who's resting, and we're going to put him back onto the diesel engines. And as soon as he gets back there, we'll access those two higher gears again. So Graf's been snoozing away. It's getting close to uh, nighttime. I'll put him up here just to look around for an hour or so before the sun goes down. We're nine hours at sea now. So I'll keep going. You see up here to these, this is your uh, battery capacity. Of course we're running the diesel engines right now so it's all charged up. This is our fuel. It's obviously going down. Oxygen, which we'll use if we have to dive. The discipline level and uh, reputation. We haven't done anything yet so this will be zero and our money we're broke so we need to uh, sink some ships so again I'm just gonna uh, time compression on and if anything happens eighteen hours well we've been at a port now everybody's been resting up right now I guess we'll make a quick change here now it is um, the sun's gonna be coming up soon but I do want to swap out use it this one so that'll send him off to bed we'll bring him down to do nap so right now we have uh, no officer up looking but there is still crew members that are keeping watch they're just not as effective uh, as having the officer up there same with a lot of the other things like operating the uh, depth steer the planes if you uh, click on an officer to do it it's just more effective I think we're just about to see sunrise behind us but there have been nothing nothing's happened yet random events can happen at any time another reason I actually like the game it's not path driven it could happen 20 minutes at a port it could happen three days later but we haven't met anything aircraft other subs nothing it's been a pretty uneventful journey so far so we'll get back at it Right, we just got a transmission. I put a Newman on just in time. So we'll click Newman, left click on that. Some uh, transmission from headquarters. Yeah, and I've done some more swapping out, just trying to keep everybody rested. So as soon as uh, that finishes, we'll get a, a message over here. There it is. Left click that. Alright, one of our ships has gone missing. Last known coordinates. Alright, so it's been put on the map. Uh... Alright. So we'll set a intercept course to that. And that's actually what that does. Very handy. Alright, so I guess we're going to investigate. Uh, it looks to be a U boat that's gone missing. Well, we've been at sea about a day and a half, a day 14 hours. We're just about to come into our uh, patrol sector. Um, as we come in there, this travel 2250 kilometers, you'll see a little line will start to appear. But again, been sort of managing the crew. Um, our captain here is getting a little bit tired. It's the middle of the night. So we'll put the skipper to sleep. 
I'll take Kohler out and put him on the nav station for the night. As we come into the zone, we'll probably uh, we'll need to communicate back to headquarters that we've started our patrol. Newman's nice and rested up, so we'll put him in the radio room to get ready for that. And also here, he can tune into uh, radio channels. I'll let you experiment with that. Okay, we're about to come in here. There we go. Patrol sector reached, so I'll get 500 credits for sending in that report. All right, so it's uh, 853 kilometers to uh, this U-boat that went missing. We'll get ready to put West here to bed and maybe bring uh, Loris out for uh, the rest of the night. Okay, so yeah, we'll put... Uh, We're slowing down. And again, you notice we slowed down. We lost the two extra gears, but we'll throw uh, Loris on there. I also want to mention about uh, the night light. On this one, it's actually kind of beneficial to use that red light. Um, uh, we'll use uh, Newman just to go over. So here's the light switch. We'll just left click. Not only does it uh, change in sight, it actually red light doesn't wreck your night vision so when you're actually on the map you can see there it came on when you're on the map your actual sight lines go out further which is really neat again another little thing they've added it to the game that I think it makes it realistic and also makes it very useful to be using that red light all right so we'll continue on our way everything's been going okay